In this video, I will show you how to install Qt and to create a GUI using Qt. So the first step is to download and install Qt. So here we have to go to this first link. Then we need to click on this download try button. And here I need to scroll down. Then I need to click on this button because I want to download it for open source users. So let's click on go open source. Then let's scroll down. And here we have just to click on this button to download it. Now let's scroll down. And here it is suggested to download uh, the installer for Windows. And this is what I want because I am using Windows. So let's scroll down and let's click on this download button. Now let's save this installer on the computer. So I will save it on the desktop. So this is the installer of Qt, so it is for online installation. This means that I need to be connected to the internet during the installation. So let's run it. So in this window, it is necessary to have an account, but I don't have an account for the moment. That's why I will create one. So let's click on this. And here I will just provide the required information to create an account. It is a free account, so let's do this. So it is also necessary to check this box to accept the terms of the license. Now let's click Next. Now it is necessary to verify my email address before I go to the next step, so let's do this. So this is the email that I received from Qt, so I have just to click on this link to verify my email address. And in this page, I have to provide some information to verify my account. So let's do this. Now let's click on confirm. Now my account has been created and verified correctly, so let's go back to the installer. And let's click on next. So in this window, we have just to select this checkbox. And also we need to select this checkbox if we are using Qt for personal purposes. So let's select it. And now let's click on next. And in this page, let's click on next. Then here we have just to select this uh, button then let's click on next in this page we have to provide where we will install Qt so I will install it directly on the C drive also I will select this custom installation then let's click on next now in this window let's expand the Qt node then here I will install the latest version of Qt which is this one so I can select it also, I can expand it because it contains some elements that I don't really need. For example, I will not install this MSVC. I will just use MinGW for the building of my applications. Also, I don't need it for Android, so I will uncheck this. Also, I don't need the source code, so let's uncheck this. Now, for the other fields, I don't really need to modify them, so let's click on Next. And here we have to agree with the license, so let's check this checkbox. Now let's click on Next. And let's click Next. Now the installation is ready, and this is the amount of data that will be added to your disk. So let's click on Install to start the installation. Now the installation finished successfully, so let's keep this checkbox checked because we want to start the IDE of Qt. So now let's click on finish. So this is the Qt IDE which allows us to create Qt applications. So before starting using it, it is good to create a shortcut on the desktop so we can start it easily the next time. So to create the shortcut, I will just go to the location where it is installed. So it is installed on the C drive into a folder called Qt. And this IDE is available under Tools. 
then Qt creator and bin and just here we will find the IDE uh, application so this is it we have just to make a right click and to send it to the desktop as a shortcut so desktop and this is the shortcut that I have just created now let's go back to the IDE and here what I will do is to create a new project so let's click on file then new file or project and here I have just to select application then Qt widget application then let's click on choose and here I have to provide a name for this project so let's call it first application also I will not save this application directly on the documents folder instead I will create a new folder on the documents folder so let's click on this new folder button and I will call this folder Qt projects now let's select this folder and it has been added here then let's use it as the default project location now let's click on next let's click next again so here this is the main class it will be created into these two files the header file and the cpp file now we need also to create this file which will be used to create our user interface so we have just to keep this checkbox checked and now let's click on next now let's click next and here of course we will create a desktop application using this version of Qt which is the only version that we have installed and our application will be compiled and built using this tool which is the only tool that we have installed so we have just to keep this option checked then let's click on next and now let's click on finish so here the project has been created so let's take a look on the project structure first of all we have this file which is used by Qt to build the application it is similar to make file and we don't need to touch it also under headers we have the header files and in our case we only have this header file that we created and under sources we have the C++ files and we have two files the main file and the main window.cpp file and under forms we have this file which allows us to create the user interface of our application so let's open it so here in this area we have our interface that we can create and complete and in this area we have the different components that we can add to our interface and in this area we have the different components that are already added to our interface and finally here we have the different properties of the selected element that we can have either in this area or in this area so here as you can see our interface contains a menu bar and a states bar that we don't need them for the moment so let's remove them I have just to click to make a right click then remove menu bar I can also remove this by doing a right click then remove now let's add a label so the label is just here let's drag and drop it and to modify the text of this label we have just to find the text property and let's modify it to say title now let's add an edit text so the edit text is just called line text under Qt so let's drag and drop it and let's increase the width so this edit text I will use it to allow the user to set the title of this window that's why I will modify the object name and I will call it edit title so I have to find the object name property which is this one let's hit enter now let's add a button to this interface so I have to find push button in this list and let's drag and drop it I will just put it here and of course I need to increase the width so I will modify the text that's why I need to find the text property and I will say ok also I will modify the object name so I will call this button uh, btn ok 
Now let's add a listener to this button. So to add the listener, I have to make right click, then go to slot. And in this window, I will add a listener when we click on the button. So I have just to select click it, then let's click on OK. So what I write inside this method will be executed when I click on the button. So here, what I want to do is to go back to the interface and I will read the content of this edit text when the user clicks on the OK button and I will modify the title of this window. So let's go back to the source code and let's go to main window. And here, first of all, I need to read the text from the edit text. So let's do this. So here UI is the object of our main window class and edit title is the name of the edit text. And finally, text allows us to read the content of this edit title. Now we need to set this text as the title of our window. So let's do this. Now let's build this application using this button. Of course, we need to save these files. So let's say save all. And now let's run the application using this button. So this is our obtained window. Let's say hello. Qt and let's click on OK. So this is the new title of this window. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.